Well, why don't, why don't you tell me a little bit about Singapore first? What, what's the, uh, you've lived there your whole life, you said. Um, yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what's like the general vibe of Singapore? Uh, well, it's, uh, I think now it's getting very crowded. It's a very, very densely populated city. So I would say actually the general vibe is it's very fast paced. Okay. And uh, yeah, like, uh, in, in a sense, it's not very, uh, like, there are a lot of social events, but it's not, I would say, very social, especially compared to um, some other countries, because a lot of the focus here is on, uh, on like, uh, on work. And then okay. usually we stay in our own social circles. But uh, there is quite a bit of culture as well. Um, because it was a city which came from the colonial era, from the British times. And so uh, we've, we've got a bunch of different races as well. So in, in Singapore, we've got uh, Chinese, which makes up the majority, Malays, Indians, and then um, the rest, others, generally speaking. Yeah. And so these are the official races. So it's, I think, usually people always describe it as a melting pot culture. Yeah. yeah. So because you've got a lot of different uh a lot of different people around. Yeah. But yeah, on a day-to-day -day basis it can feel actually quite um antisocial in a sense because I think it's it's kind of like the general big city vibe where uh -huh. everyone's doing their own thing. But yet you also get to interact with a lot of different kind of races and in fact people of different countries they also come to Singapore to work. So yeah. Generally, it's very interesting because the cultures are just, yeah, a lot, many, many different cultures. 